My first five years of selling led to a lot of frustration because I truly wanted to change the world. I think we all have a desire to change the world. The problem was I was trying to control the world, not change the world. See, there's a difference. Controlling is like being a dictator. And I won't lie, I like being a dictator, but nobody's hiring me to do that. And controlling is all about making other people change, but not me. And yes, that's easy. Easy meaning I have no responsibility. Everyone else is responsible to change because it's everyone else that's causing my problems. Early on in my sales career for those five, first five years, I tried to get all of my clients to change by putting pressure on them, stalking them, bugging them, pestering them, and using a whole lot of sales techniques. And it led to a lot of frustration for them and for me. Then in 1996, I owned my first business, my first real brick and mortar business. And all of a sudden, I'm a business owner. I'm still in sales and I'm running this business on the side as an absentee owner. And now I have salespeople calling me. Now the shoe's on the other foot and I get to see what it feels like. And I didn't like it because I found that they were doing a lot of the same things to me that I was doing to clients. I was trying to change them by controlling them, which leads to a ton of frustration. Look at marriages today. A spouse, a husband or wife is trying to change their spouse, their husband and wife. Instead of changing themselves, they're trying to control their spouse. They want them to do things a certain way. We all have a desire. We want to change the laws of our state, our city, our country. We want to change people. We want to change our teams. We want to change our clients, our customers, our businesses. And there's only really one way to do it. You've got to stop trying to control people. Control puts all the emphasis on them. If you truly want to change the world, or at least the world around you, change yourself first. I started learning when I was a business owner and I started changing because I didn't like how people were contacting me. So I started to change and lo and behold, a miracle happened. All of a sudden, my sales got tremendously easier. They quadrupled over the next year. Nothing else had changed. My clients didn't change. They're still the same people. But all of a sudden, he stopped avoiding me like the plague. Things got better. Yes, it was still frustrating. It was still hard. I'm not saying that. I'm saying it, it was a lot less frustrating. It made things a lot easier because I started working on me. I worked on my attitude. I worked on my personality. I started getting better. And all of a sudden, people started to become attracted to that. It wasn't repelling people like I was trying to control them before. All of a sudden, when I started changing myself, I noticed that the world around me started changing and life got easier. Gandhi said it this way, be the change you want to see in the world. Stop trying to change the world by controlling them and you'll alleviate a lot of frustration that's in your life, in your relationships, in your business, your clients, with your employees, and your peers, your co-workers. Start working on you today and watch how the world will start to change as they see the change that happens in you. My name is Ed Carcary. I'd love to connect with you at edcarcary.com. Find your passion. You'll find your life.